Imagine this, you're in the nerve center of a nuclear power plant, a place where hundreds of blinking lights and endless data streams tell you everything is okay. Suddenly, the ground shakes violently. It's the most powerful earthquake in Japan's history. But you're an engineer. You're trained for this. The reactors shut down automatically, just as they should. You think the worst is over. Then, the real nightmare begins. A colossal tsunami, a wall of water taller than the plant's sea defenses, crashes over the coast. It floods everything. The emergency diesel generators, your last line of defense, are drowned one by one. And then, it happens. The lights flicker and die. The hum of the service vanishes. Every single monitor in the central control room goes black. Complete, terrifying silence. You're blind. You can't see the reactor core temperatures. You don't know the water levels. You have no idea what the pressure is. All the data that keeps a nuclear reactor from melting down has simply disappeared. Panic starts to set in. Are the cores already overheating? Are you moments away from a catastrophic explosion? This was the reality for the engineers at Fukushima Daiichi in that moment of absolute crisis. One man, the plant manager Masao Yoshida, refused to give in to despair. While others stared at the blank screens, frozen by fear, he took charge. With no power and no computers, he and his team went old school. They grabbed flashlights, paper, and pens. Yoshida started shouting orders, organizing teams to physically go into the pitch-black hazardous reactor buildings. They had to manually check valves and read gauges by hand, scribbling down numbers on notepads and running the information back to the powerless control room. Yoshida, standing in the dark, pieced together this fragmented information. He essentially rebuilt the entire plant's status in his mind and on paper, drawing diagrams, calculating decay heat, and creating a brand new cooling strategy from scratch. It was an incredible feat of human ingenuity and courage, a desperate battle fought with pen and paper against a nuclear meltdown. They were trying to tame a dragon in the dark, armed with nothing but their knowledge and sheer willpower. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories like this.